Hi, I'm Tony. I'm an author, presenter at Sky Sports, and years ago I went to the jungle and got ill. Very <laughs> ill. So this is my podcast adventure to find more energy. It's packed with biohacking, science, health tech, supplements, and some of the most well-known experts on the planet. This is something I spent four months of my life doing with electrodes glued to my head so that you can do a lifetime worth of meditation. Decide what you don't give a fuck about, which is something you don't care about. Some of it gets quite out there. I had some stem cells sent up to my house that I had stored, and then I injected myself with mannitol. And we even hack hangovers. Alcohol is poisonous. So is water and oxygen in the wrong dosage. So that's my podcast, Zestology. Live life with energy, vitality, and motivation. Hello and welcome to Zestology. I'm Tony Wrighton. And I'm on the treadmill at the moment. Well, not a normal treadmill. It's like a steps treadmill. So I'm climbing up. And the reason I'm recording this podcast here is that it's part of my new routine. I'm 8 minutes 38 in. And I've climbed 33 fourth floors. So if I sound slightly out of breath, then bear with me. <laughs> but there's a reason for it. And that is that running, having left my TV job last year and now running my business full time focusing more on presenting podcasts and writing books. I find that a lot of that work means that I have to sit in front of a screen a lot. So I've been trying to do more work in the gym, on the treadmill and on the steps machine with limited success. <laughs> I can do things like this, all right? Well, I can't write very well on the treadmill. So yeah, I'm now on 36 floors climbed here. So... I just feel good when I move a lot. It feels right to me. I have more ideas. I feel happier. It's not compatible really with the life of a writer, but I think they can coexist well. So I'm interested in exploring that further. I've tried doing some dictation with Otter as well, which hasn't really worked, but I found that various admin tasks and recording podcast intros seems to work okay. Anyway, I've now climbed 39 floors and I'm on 10 minutes. So I'm going to in introduce Dr. Zulia, who is today's podcast guest. And she is fantastic because she is one of the people who run and created FlexBeam, an amazing device that helps you heal and uses the power of infrared light, uh, infrared light to target very specifically various parts of the body and I have one of these devices and I love it and Dr. Zulia today gives me an inside peek at the things it can do for me. Since we recorded this podcast one of the top players at the women's Euros one of her family members got in touch with me and asked if I could put them in touch with Flexbeam because their star player had injured their knee in a game and wanted to help it heal better. So I spoke to Dr. Zulia and Bjorn, who run the podcast, who run the company rather, and within 24 hours a flex beam had been dispatched and sure enough, in the next game but one, this particular player was fit enough and scored and has had an extremely influential uh, part to play in the tournament. And it's been really satisfying helping Flexbeam and this particular star of the Women's Euros connect. It just shows to me how powerful this device is. And if you're into infrared light in any way, you've got to listen to this podcast. Here she is, Dr. Zulia on Zestology. Dr. Zulia, lovely to talk to you. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Tony. And you? Oh, really good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to talk to talk about this amazing oh, bit of care. Yeah, it's it's my passion nowadays. I love studying red light therapy. I'm glad it, I actually love studying just Broadway light therapy, but also energy medicine, frequency medicine, anything, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow. That's so great. I mean, because obviously this this podcast came about because 
I got very ill. I went to the the jungle and I got a virus about eight years ago now um, and spent three months in bed and had no energy. So on a physical level, I didn't have any energy. But as I've got better and I've presented this podcast about energy for so long, I'm so interested in energy medicine, the unseen movements of energy that we don't understand. Everything around energy is so utterly fascinating. For instance, I went to Glastonbury last week, the festival, and just there's something about the energy there that is just so incredible. I, I can't explain it, but I just felt great, you know. It's, uh, you're absolutely right. Um, because it has that property to be untouchable, you know, it's very difficult for people to relate to concept of energy and more so to because we live in such a materialistic world to comprehend that we are energy in deep pain and, and we are uh, emanating energy, we emanate in light, we have frequency in every cell. So collectively, uh, we all oscillate. And what you describe as a sense of well-being energy within, in the festival, it's like uh, we all become coherent, just mm. like laser light. We're all coherent in our joy. And so we can propagate that joy of energy. But of course, when you ill, what is happening, that's when the energy gets out of sync. And yeah. so you don't oscillate in such a way. And you perhaps need energy medicine because you can correct your um, field you can correct certain function just using frequency uh, and, uh, and and light for example yes wow yeah okay I'm, I'm going to really enjoy talking to you so look, i want to talk about flex beam in a second because i've got that here and i've already had a little play with it um but before that how did you get into all this and what's your background well, my background, uh, I actually studied medicine and uh, I studied it when, when I lived in Russia and uh, it's used to call Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, I did the, the proper medical course in pediatrics and I did postgraduate training as well. It's, it was fascinating. I always loved to know about the human body. And um, my mother was also a medical doctor. So it's in the family where we talk about she's a neurologist and so on. And, um, and you know, the more I start uh, using it in practice, uh, interactions with people, patients, uh, little patients, big patients, mm -hmm. um, I was just thinking um, something is missing. Something is really missing because we give them people uh, medicines and medicines have side effects and you produce another medicine to cover that side effect of that medicine. And it's becoming somewhat not right in a sense, because in the end of the day, you want to clear the, uh, and, and this, not just do symptomatic treatment, but clear the cause and also dig into this cause. So uh, I naturally, being an inquisitive person, I wanted, I, I read a lot about Chinese medicine acupuncture because it was fashionable, fashionable in my time when I studied medicine. So I learned about acupuncture points. Of course, you, and they talk about this chi, uh, fascinating energy. Mm. And I'm like, what, what's that chi? Like, you know, I couldn't figure out because my materialistic left brain, I would say, left brain was telling me, this does not exist. This mm -hmm. is rubbish. Yeah. Uh, but then I start meeting people. I think it's a law of attraction. I met lots of Russian scientists working in this field, and uh, they were all talking about subtle energies. And uh, I read lots of research, and that's opened my mind. And then gradually, you know, this book started to come out. Uh, James Oshman. Um, Lynn Mataggart, you know, the field. And I was like curious, what is it? What is it? So eventually it led me to study. In the end, I did a course of Chinese medicine and acupuncture. I finished that, graduated. Uh, then I've studied also photobiomodulation, the science of light. Wow. Uh, with Dr. Weber in Germany. And um, he opened up and further my horizon. Now, more on a practical level, how you apply physical energy of light for healing um so anyway my story went to also to study interactive neuromodulation methodology and devoting my life actually to start using it practically with people 
Oh, wow. What an incredible story. That's brilliant. So I'm um, finally now with FlexBeam, which you just showed us. Yeah. I also have the FlexBeam here. Yeah. yeah so obviously, so what happened was I was at the um, Health Optimization Summit, as you know, hosting it. And um, I kept walking past the FlexBeam st uh, stand and thinking, what is that thing that looks like a, it looks like a robot or something? Or uh, <laughs> and, um, and it just looks so much fun. And I, I'm wholeheartedly into um energy and light therapy already and i've used red light for a while but i'm really excited to know why this is a bit different and i have had a little play with it as well but it's essentially it's a sort of flexible red light device isn't it yeah yeah i uh, say essentially yes the, the major difference uh because you know we uh we know about panels red light therapy from Jew, for example. Uh, and I, I like them a lot. And uh, I almost uh, bought one for myself. Um, but a lot of my uh, colleagues and friends have these panels, they use it. But the panel produces light from many, many, many diodes collectively. And then you stay in sort of that field mm. of light. Where the uh, Flix Beam actually brought that light directly to your skin. Yeah. So this is the first major difference. And uh, what's, what it does for the body, it's much more concentrated. So you don't lose energy of photons. Mm. So they are directly, and you can flexibly put around the area where yeah. you have, for example, injury. So you literally target three-dimensionally because you're going to beam it from three modules uh, right in that depth of the joint. Mm you need to act about that's one uh, big difference second big difference uh it's power to be honest uh, i talk a lot with uh, arian helder who is the, the inventor of this device uh, he's our engineer and um, we look through lots of papers he did his own research way before me and uh, he said uh, it's just not enough power there's just not enough power and i'm like yeah and for me what was funny is that you read all scientific papers and they done on tiny little animals like mice you know tiny little creatures yeah and we human beings we're we huge we, we probably need more power he's right so what he did he put the uh, very powerful leds here and you could see how powerful because we have got this heat, um, yeah. cooling sinks yeah and and they cool down the diodes. So you can produce the power uh, with FlexBeam. And of course, this combination of the fact that you can target and produce very powerful stimulation, this gives you results. Yeah. So, so remind me, because I'm, I'm really interested in, in sort of tapping into your expertise. I have, I'm interested in red light for uh, skin conditions and and aging. I'm definitely mm -hmm. interested in terms of aches and pains. Um, and I know a lot of people are. And why does it? Because I think even having spent lots of time in this biohacking space, I forget why does light help you heal? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, first of all, let's take a step back, uh, kind of evolutionary, yes? Yeah. We are born under sunlight and we're going to die under sunlight. You, see, you know, all our life, it literally happens around sunlight. So we, we, our cells learn how to absorb light in certain wavelengths and basically siphon energy. Yes, because cells need energy to function. And uh, different wavelengths, they have different penetration depth in the skin. So when you're talking about skin conditions and skin level, we must think about actually red lights, sort of between 600 to 670 nanometers, yes? Because red lights is typically absorbed just like 0.5 uh, centimeters into the skin, you know, very superficially. And with this red light, you're going to stimulate natural healing. How? Because on the cellular level, you make the cell to work much more efficient. And often people cannot heal whatever they have. It's because the number one cause, not enough energy, physical, 
physical, tangible energy mm. to run reactions. Do you know that uh, every cell uh, basically does about 100,000 reactions per second? Just, just think of this number. How many chemical reactions you have to run? 100,000 reactions in one cell per second. How much physical energy you require? Mm. Lots. Yeah. And if we, we now become, our lifestyle becomes sedentary. And so we, 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 we don't move enough to generate the energy. And we eat not right foods for that yeah. as well. <laughs> well, that's the sadness for me to be recording these podcasts sitting down. But if we were in person, <laughs> Zulia, we could walk along and record this and it'd be great. Interrupting this podcast for one moment to tell you about my podcast partner this month, which is the wonderful, the majestic Magnesium Breakthrough. This month focusing on the number one health problem people from all over the world are facing. Do you know what it is? Well, it's actually sleep. Because sleep is like the master hack, it affects everything. And the majority of people are lacking energy throughout the day. And that is often a symptom of a bigger picture, which is not getting enough sleep. Poor sleep can affect your mood, hormones, weight gain, many other factors negatively impacting you. And one of the ways to get over it is by taking magnesium breakthrough. The other one is by going to bed earlier <laughs> and um, changing your evening routine. The sort of thing that we talk about a lot on Zestology. But magnesium breakthrough is something that I take every evening. What I do is about nine o'clock, I have a little pot around and I get some supplements together. And one of them is, um, I don't even know how to say it properly, but it's Saccharomyces boulardii. I really like that for my stomach. And the other one is Magnesium Breakthrough that helps me sleep. The other day, I didn't sleep very well. And I woke up in the morning and I loudly complained to my wife that I didn't sleep well. And I came downstairs and the supplements that I put out the night before were still on the kitchen table. So I'd forgotten to take them. And that's probably why I didn't sleep very well. For a limited time, Magnesium Breakthrough have a special offer. They are offering additional bonus gifts for the next 1,000 customers or while supplies last. And so if you order Magnesium Breakthrough by going to magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology, you'll get free bottles of their full line of digestive health products. So you get quite a lot of free stuff. So this is definitely a deal worth doing. You will get, I'll tell you what we'll get, You'll get Masszymes, their digestive enzymes, another product I love. You'll get a patented probiotic, P3OM, and their HCL product as well to alleviate heartburn and acid reflux. I don't get heartburn, but people who do love that product as well. So um, go to mybreakthrough.com slash Zestology um, and get a load of free stuff as well. I, th I know they're quite excited about this offer. The, the people at uh, Bioptimizers and Magnesium Breakthrough have been messaging me this month saying, we're very excited about this. So make sure you get it before you're too late. Excellent deal. And I will speak to you more about this at the end of the podcast. But now back to the show. Yeah, I mean, I certainly find energy comes from exercise. I don't use energy. I create energy through exercise, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you know uh, how? <laughs> how? Tell me. <laughs> it's it's very interesting. Well, that is my understanding. So um, I read lots of books by uh, Jim Oshman, uh, and he was talking about living matrix. He basically said that uh, our connective tissue, it's a, it's a living matrix. It's a, a liquid crystalline structure of collagen. Uh, and as you know from physics of the crystals, yeah, they have a certain shape. And when you change the shape, you generate physical electricity. So by pushing your cells whilst you're moving, yeah. you actually physically generate electricity. And yeah. maybe uh, like in Matrix, when he showed that button, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm but like, yeah, man, you're on yeah. This, right? But it's <laughs> so true. And I mean, this morning, for example, you know, I felt... I felt fine, but a bit sluggish, but fine. And then I went to the gym and I I did 46 minutes in the gym and I feel totally different and it's lasting, you know, three, four hours different. I still feel totally different. It's incredible what an impact it has. There are other things, including being in bright light that energize me yeah. as well. 
And that's why I'm so interested in flex beam and red light therapy and so so on. But I don't find that it energizes me in quite the same way, but maybe I'm not doing it right. No, 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 you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, it does energize you, and but it does energize you in a different way. Because what it does, it gives cells uh, energy, and uh, uh, when every oh, g- big group of cells receives energy, uh, you don't feel like you're on co- caffeine, yes? You don't release adrenaline. you opposite, you become calm and balanced but feeling like really good and calm and balanced. And that's what you get when you use Flex Beam. Uh, it generates light in red uh, spectrum, uh, which is uh, 625 to 635 nanometers, which would be good for collagen, for skin wounds, for anything, cool, you know, whatever is on the skin. But it also has uh, near infrared light. And near infrared light for me, it's much more intriguing. Mm. Because uh, this light, we, it's kind of invisible for our uh, eye, but it's very powerful. And if you look at the spectrum of the sun, it's actually take 40% out of the whole you know, spectrum. Like you have blue, yellow, red, whatever, and then infrared, big chunk of it. So you think evolutionary, we must develop mechanism also towards that. So the infrared light property is to penetrate the skin at depth. And the stronger, the powerful, the source of light, the deeper penetration level. With flex beam, it can penetrate uh, up to 10 centimeters inside. So this is quite a lot. Uh, we measured it on the special equipment. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. so right the way through your knee, for example. Yes, and it gets there and it delivers energy. But uh, apart from energy, what it does also, uh, very, very uniquely, it releases uh, nitric oxide. Oh, and wow. Okay. Yeah. Like, as you know, it's the vasodilator. So I always say to my patients if you want to heal, you need the presence of blood at this place. Mm. So you need blood flowing there. So that's what it does. It, when you shine around that knee, for example, you deliver stimulation and the blood started to move and uh, open up, the collaterals open up. So you provide a lot more, not only energy, but actually more nutrients come into that knee, more oxygen will be there for, for the cells to use. So you basically, you optimize natural healing responses. Mm. Yeah, actually, I've been playing a lot of paddle here in London, which is a big sport in Spain where you are, but not that big here. But I love it. It's brilliant. It's like tennis and squash mixed together. But yeah, my knee felt a bit bad the next day. So I I used that a bit and it just felt so good. Um, And I'm really interested to see how it works for any skin issues as well. I've got quite a lot of friends who who have skin issues. And there is Mm -hmm. a, is there a skin setting on there? Uh, No, it's just program one. Program one, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would tell you that there are lots of anecdotal, uh, of course, uh, cases. Uh, I have done it. I wanted to evaluate when I joined Recharge, uh, I wanted to evaluate it for myself. So I did the studies and there were some people coming in to study with skin wounds. I had people with eczema, I had people with, you know, graces. Mm. Um, and so it, it's it's phenomenal. I mean, if I show you their shots uh, between now and one week later, it's just phenomenal. It's just literally, it heals so much faster. Wow. But of course, it's anecdotal. To be the clinically valid and uh, sound, you need a proper study yeah. with a control group. Because, you know, people always can come back and say, well, maybe it would have healed anyway like this. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You can't yeah. know. No, it wouldn't because it's it's a lot faster. Mm-hmm. What about um, stretch marks? Stretch marks. It's also uh, a damage to the skin. You have to mm. treat it as an injury. Yeah. And so you use it the same program number one. That would be good for that because Great. then you focus a light and energy within the skin level. Yeah. So, so you've got three programs on here. I'm just looking at it now. Program on, number one is skin and surface and program number two is muscles and tissue and program three is deep tissue and joints. Is that red and infrared? Yes. Yes. Uh, number two is a mixture between red and infrared. Okay. Uh, and it's not only a mixture, it's also pulsed. 
but it's pulsed, it's like sweeping frequencies. It has a certain <clears throat> very useful frequency there. And you know, uh, why we're interested in frequency is because uh, there is some element of resonance, biological resonance. Mm. And uh, so if you if you hit the right resonance, you can uh, actually optimize sales, like at quantum level, even there remotely from that place yeah wow yeah that's a, that's that's getting tr pretty trippy those earlier that is <laughs> <laughs> yes um i typically use program two uh when i target small joints like if you do like this and you put your hands there okay small joints, yeah uh wrist for example and i use um two also in combination with three because three is pure infrared lights yes mm. it's very continuous infrared light and uh when uh you target with, with the deep stimulation sometimes you want to introduce a different physiological because uh the, the whole science is called photobiomodulation so you uh, with photon you stimulate this area and so uh you if you combine with one type of stimulation let's say today tomorrow we combine with different you get the body to respond to you yeah simulation and you give energy mm. yeah i know it's not really made for the face but do you use um infrared light for anti-aging definitely definitely um and you know i've been asked this question a lot uh by our users sometimes they write to me uh because in the instruction uh, instruction for use, we say do not uh, shine in the eyes and everything, but it doesn't necessarily mean you cannot use it. So uh, uh, the use uh, for that you should be again program number one, and then you uh, program, program number one for that one. Yeah. Yeah, because you want to target collagen, right? You don't want to. You can use one or two. Is that so? There's is there infrared on one? Uh, one is red. Two right, is red. red. Okay. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Two is both infrared and red, yeah. um, but they both gonna uh, from one and two you're gonna get the mixture of them, and um, sort of like that distance, like reading book distance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, simply because the, oh. the light is quite powerful. Is this you? Yeah, that was my that was my um, fire alarm. I think uh, <laughs> it's being tested. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you, you hold it like uh, you're reading a book, that distance. And there, there is a reason for this, because if you put it to the skin, it's it's quite strong. Right, okay? right. You just need the uh, even, and you need kind of all of the face to be stimulated and the neck, yeah? yeah. Um, but because lights are bright, uh, we have the goggles here, you know, so you can put the goggles. Oh, I saw that. them. Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, just yeah. to protect your eyes. Generally speaking, it's fine, but you know there are some people may have some reaction. Some people have more sensitive, or maybe have some predisposing condition of the eye. Yeah. But you use it daily. So program one at distance with goggles, you can use daily. I would say two three weeks, maybe occasional breaks, and you will notice a difference. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I mean anti aging is the uh, is what everyone's interested in. <laughs> um copper peptides keep coming up alongside infrared on this podcast mm -hmm. for anti-aging as well yes yeah. Yeah. it's uh, uh it's a good um i always say this is a great tool but you can use it in conjunction with other therapies mm -hmm. uh, um and lots of i train therapists uh, to energy medicine modalities and so uh, many of them use one two three devices and uh uh, plus, they have other skills like, say, manual therapy, massage, acupuncture, uh, even hypnotherapy works with this better. <laughs> great, great. Yeah. But certainly, That's... nutritional therapies. Yeah. Yes, because uh, there is a link, um, you know, when we take nutrients, it goes in our gut. So I really, really love using it on the stomach. Like oh, this. wow. Really? Yeah. And like that, yeah. I call it the cross. Just uh, for um, for digestion, or yes, uh, because what you need, you need to improve uh, gut function. Mm. Um, latest study, literally last three years, lots of studies started to come out talking about microbiome to be light sensitive. So when you put it on your stomach, you wow. actually 
optimize your good bacteria. Yeah. You optimize the function of the gut and your nutrition will absorb much better. That's amazing. I mean, listen, my my gut is notoriously sensitive, notorious in my mind. So I'm gonna. So that would be, that's that. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna settle down once my son is asleep and put the tennis on the TV and put that on my belly, and uh, and give it a go. Fabulous. Uh, I think you should do because I do it as a routine. I I know lots of uh, my patients doing it. It's so good because. Your digestive system there. Don't forget, in the gut, you also produce neurotransmitters like mm. serotonin. Ninety mm. percent produced in the gut. Yes. Yeah. Dopamine and all, uh, you know, immune cells. It's just, it's just your inner pharmacy there. Plus, there is a link between brain and the gut. Yeah. yeah? Absolutely. Wow, Zulia, love that. We are almost out of time. So I want to ask you, what is one book that you would recommend? And I'm very much looking forward to your answer because I know you're an energy expert. And what is one tip for living with more energy and vitality? It, it's so difficult because uh, I have, I love so many books, so many books. And But you must read, uh, this is like, for me, it's a textbook. It's called Energy Medicine by Jim Oshman. Okay. Yeah? He's done a couple of editions. And so that is, it's well, like you basic knowledge of everything oh wow I, i'm i'm literally going to make a lo- note of that in a second why is it so good uh, because uh, G- uh jim's work he uh, he basically observes what's coming new and he analyzed this and put a little like digested digested uh, sort of formula for you as a reader to understand what's happening with your body on an energetic level and you look at all aspects sounds you know a different type of healing you know uh, lights electricity so wow and then what about one tip for i'm about to get another fire alarm i think so uh, one tip for living with more energy um regular use of your devices like i would definitely say if you do it as a routine once a day or once a week good thoughts good food and be happy yeah that's that that is a really good recipe for living <laughs> thank you yeah. so much look i know you're, you're hopefully coming back to london quite soon aren't you so maybe we'll get to meet in person at that point absolutely i would yeah. love to yeah. Yeah. yeah me too me too zulia really lovely to talk to you and i'll have lots more energy medicine questions for you in september um really great to talk to you where can people find out more about the flex beam uh, our website is very straightforward. It's recharge.health. Recharge.health. So, yeah. Health. And I, I can highly recommend it. Obviously, I've just started getting to grips with it, but I'm loving it so far. And when my knee felt a bit sore after playing paddle, it felt great after putting that on. So, uh, oh. very good initial reviews from me. And I'm going to try the gut one, the cross. Yeah. What, do you, what do you call it? Cross. The cross. The cross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Nice to talk to you, Zulia. Thanks for coming on. Pleasure. Lovely to meet you as well. That's it for this week's podcast. I've now done about 20 minutes. About 90 floors, absolutely knackered. Still on this climbing treadmill. Feeling good though. Really glad I came, feel a lot better than when I started and that is the goal of exercise, surely. Those partners are by Optimizers. You can use the code ZESTOLOGY10 for 10% off across the entire by Optimizers range, including Magnesium Breakthrough, which I will need after all this exercise because I'm sweating a lot. Go to magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology and use the code Zestology10 for 10% off. You can get that 10% off in the UK as well on the UK by Optimizer site by using the code Zestology10. One of the great things about recording this podcast on the climbing treadmill is that I've done longer on here than I normally would. So you've probably had enough of me heavy breathing now. I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you next week on Zestology. 
Thanks for listening.